We'll do it live. Okay. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Eddie's Wall. Today we have an amazing episode for you. If you're just tuning in or if this is your first time ever watching, the beauty of this show is the fact that it's live. So you can comment in and I can see your comments and questions on my computer right here. So my trusty Eddie's Wall computer. Uh, so that's the beauty of this because I'm not only interviewing the person, but you are as well. So please uh, feel free to comment and question anything you want, and we'll try to get to all of uh, all of your text, if you will. Um, today we have a very special guest. She is a uh, professional female pro snowboarder. Um, professional female. That's, that makes no sense. Um, but okay, so in the 2015-2016 season, she let's see, I have the stats right here. First at the U.S. Grand Prix in Mammoth third at the Dew Tour in Breckenridge, bronze medal at the X Games in Aspen, uh, two-time winner at the Rat Race, which is a very scary course, and also uh, yours truly, the Transworld Snowboarding Riders Pole Award Rookie of the Year. Please put your hands together for Miss Haley Langland. <laughs> What's up, Haley? Hey. How are Hi. you? Super good. Right. Let's tone it down, people. Bring it down a little bit. There we go. All right. So uh, this crowd is pretty yeah. wild. Uh, so uh, Haley, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm I'm doing pretty wonderful. Uh, you know, we start off every show uh, with something that we usually call like from the beginning or from the start. So give us a little rundown of your your past. Oh wait, by the way. My entire intro was blown because after I listed all of those amazing events, um, I was supposed to say, and she did this all before the age of 16 years old. So, I mean, that's, I mean, isn't that amazing, people? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Well, there goes the applause. Anyways, this crowd is a little finicky. So, oh, there, yeah. Oh, okay. All before the age of 16. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, um, Thank you. <laughs> all right. Had a little Bob Dylan in there. So, um, yeah. So start from the beginning. Where where did you grow up? Um, How did you get into snowboarding and things like that? Uh, yeah. I'm from Southern California, mm -hmm. and I started riding at Big Bear Mountain. Um, and my dad got me into it one day. We just decided to go up and see how it go how it would go. And he was a snowboarder when he was younger. So, I think uh, I think. After a few times of going, it just kind of clicked. And when I was younger, I really liked doing it. And so I kept going up. Right. And this was, at what age did you start going to Big Bear? I was five when I started snowboarding. Five years yeah. old. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's, like, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, and, and then so what, how long did it take till you realized that you were, you know, really loved it and you were get, getting good at it and, and stuff like that? I think when I started competing, I was, I think, seven years old. Mm -hmm. I did my first contest, and I really liked being around all the other girls and kind of being in this band of people, and I just really liked being in kind of in that scene, and that's where I wanted to pick it up and get a lot better. Right. And did you, at what point did you maybe, did you ever think that that's what you want to do for a living? Or did, was it something that just kind of slowly progressed? Or Yeah, I think I didn't really see that until I was maybe 10 or 12. <laughs> Not that that was too long ago, but <laughs> um, this is yeah, so crazy. I just, I think I really took my time with it and I really started to like it when I started to really get good at it. And right. that's when I figured it out that this is what I wanted to do. Yeah, and I guess it's kind of odd because that's a pretty normal question for a lot of pros. Like, oh, so at what point did you want this to be your career? Because you are, most pros are around in their late teens or something, you know, 18, mm -hmm. 19, they're trying to figure out what they're gonna do for a job. But <clears throat> I would imagine at 10 years old, you're not necessarily thinking like, hmm, what should I do to pay the bills? You know, <laughs> you're like. <laughs> exactly. Um, man, so, okay, so you're only 15 right now. Yeah. At what age did you, um, or, and kind of how did you start getting sponsors and I feel like this is something a lot of viewers are always curious about because it's real simple to be passionate about snowboarding but that right. transition into being a professional is um, always like it's kind of different for everybody mm -hmm. so how was that for you 
Um, well, I got sponsored by Burton when I was six. Oh. Uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty young. <laughs> My dad <laughs> actually made a mixtape, if you want to say, of me just going down the mountain, kind of like, I didn't know how to turn yet, so I was just going straight, kind of crashing into everything, and it was, it was pretty funny edit. I think we still have it, and uh, yeah, he sent it in just to see what they'd say, and they started sending me gear. For, Amazing. Yeah. Just really tiny snowboards. Yeah, probably like the little one, 100s because they didn't make 80s back then. That. Back then. <laughs> back then. <laughs> Way back then. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, so funny fact. Uh, we were talking at lunch, and the year I turned pro was in 2000, and that was <laughs> the year that Haley was born. So <laughs> that made me feel really, really old. <laughs> I still think I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm this young pro guy. And, uh, now I'm like, wow, okay. I am. <laughs> That's so nuts. Um, so... Um, did you compete, you know, we're going to go back to, so clearly you were sponsored before you could like technically walk, um, but, <laughs> but at what point did you really start doing some contests and stuff? Were you 10, 11? Um, I did my first Rev Tour when I was 13. Okay. And so that was kind of like the bigger contest. I did do some USA essays when I was younger, but um, the first like real contest I did was the Mammoth uh, Rev Tour yep. in 2013, 14. Yep. Yeah, and so that was my first one, and I won it. And nice. <laughs> You're like, oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's where I really was like, wow, I'm pretty good at snowboarding. I should probably keep doing it. And that's when I really started to get into it. And the next uh, season after that, that's when I went to Mammoth for the Grand Prix. And okay. Yeah. And. So, yeah, so 2014, 2015, uh, five podiums out of the seven uh, contests of the Rev Tour. Mm -hmm. um, so that year, is you were obviously kind of yeah. really moving along. Figuring it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then 2015, 2016, last season comes up. And like I said in the intro, first at the U.S. Grand Prix, third at Dew Tour, third at X Games, um, just coming off a solid rat race win up in Mount Hood. Um, and then, yeah, Riders Pole Rookie of the Year. I guess, I mean, which one of those contests for you was, you know, a big, maybe, was, was one of those stand out to you more or as being your favorite or was one real nerve wracking or? Um, definitely, I think the most nerve wracking one was probably do tour okay that was at the beginning of the season and i'd never done a do tour before and i knew going into it that would kind of lead the path for what i would do later on in the season right right and so knowing that i wanted to do really well and i think i psyched myself out my first run in finals when i like accidentally did a, almost a double cork to my back on oh. the last jump and um yeah, I think that one was probably the one where I was the most nervous. Because um, I guess that was the biggest contest you had done up until that point. Because yeah. before that, you had just done the Rev Tours. Rev Tours. And, and then you're in the yeah. Dew Tour with right up alongside of the, exactly. the best snowboarders in the world. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like, all my heroes growing up, I was like, oh, this is the first contest. I'm actually, like, competing against them. This is so crazy. Everyone's right. watching. There's a ton of people here. And, yeah, that was the most nerve-wracking one, I'd say. Okay. And... You know, on that subject, what is it like to be 15 years old, or at that time were you maybe even 14? 15. Okay, so, and you're, I, you know, just a little kid, and then all of a sudden you are you are competing against your heroes. Yeah. It's almost like a little kid in high school shooting hoops, and then the next thing you know, he's like on the Lakers with some, exactly, you know. Exactly, yeah. So how did, how did that feel, or what was that like to be up at the drop-in and just like, oh my gosh, this is actually happening? Yeah, it was uh, d very scary the first day. Um, I didn't really do much, and riding with those girls from past events, like at Miss Super Park and some previous photo shoots and just like riding around with them, they kind of like were pushing me and poking me like, hey, you can do all these things, like, you know. Um, and yeah, I think that with them, I was really scared that they wouldn't um, be very friendly, but they were all just kind of corralling me and telling me that I can do it, I can do it. And so I think that's really cool how everyone works together and we all push each other in contests. It's not like, you know, 
I'm gonna I want to beat you it's right. we want to obviously do the best we can but still beat each other yeah but, like yeah. the progression is amazing they're like the best girls and the best role models I have that's am- yeah and yeah uh, speaking of that which who are some I know at lunch you kind of brought up a few who are some of your you know role models or girls that you look up to who've been helping you out and, and things like that uh I would say Kimmy Fasani, Spencer O'Brien, Anna Gasser, and Jamie Anderson. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's a solid list. That's right a pretty there. solid <laughs> list. <laughs> That's insane. That's amazing. Um, okay, so we got a couple questions here. Uh, if you're just tuning in, you're watching Eddie's Wall, Haley Langley. We're here in Carlsbad, California at Transworld Snowboarding Studios. And um, this is live, so please feel free. I got my computer here. I can read your comments and your questions. 15 year old. Prodigy, I guess you could say, <laughs> and just it's all around badass. So, um, okay, Christopher, Colorado, where is your favorite park? Uh, I would say Breckenridge, Breck Parks. Breckenridge, yeah. okay. Uh, d- isn't Breckenridge kind of icy sometimes? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you have to wait until it gets around 10, 11, then yeah. that's when it softens up. Perfect. Garrett Joseph, uh, how do you feel about the Too Hard Squad? They are badass girl snowboarders, but do you think? they go too hard with the parting. Is it a bad example for younger kids and do uh, or do what they want? Um, what's your favorite crew of women's riders? I think the Two Heart Squad is sick. Okay. Really amazing rail riders and some of the tricks that they do, I wanna be able to do on rails. Yep. Maybe not the partying, but that's up to them. Yeah. So, you know, cool. do that. Nice. Do that. <laughs> Continue partying. Um, no, um, so let's see here. What else do we got to talk about? Oh, here's some more questions. Uh, yes, go Breck. Uh, will you ever come to New Zealand, Regan Mooney? I was hoping to get down to New Zealand this summer, but I'll only be making it to Australia. Okay. But you have been to New Zealand before. Yeah, I have. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Emily Joe Wiskowitz. Uh, what trick uh, do you want to learn this year, if there is one? Um, I'd like to learn how to stay on my board and land on my feet sometimes. That would be awesome. Um, definitely want to try to learn some nines maybe this year and definitely a lot more rail tricks. Okay. Do you have, uh, for instance, uh, I feel like a lot of riders have a way they prefer to spin. Like I mm-hmm. always preferred backside and cab and then switch backside and then I hated frontside. Yeah. Do you have that? I'm definitely a backside cab person. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. I don't, I wonder, I don't know what causes that with the difference. Because I know yeah. a lot of people who, like a front three is their go-to, mm-hmm. and you couldn't pay me to front side three anything. It's like <laughs> the scariest trick to me. But, um, okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, so, um, I guess up next I was thinking, uh, I, yeah, I just have so many questions because it's, it's really <laughs> trippy, you know, for me to have somebody who starts snowboarding at such a young age and then already get sponsored and things like that like I didn't even know what a snowboard was when I was 14 and you know you're on the pro circuit so it's just Mm -hmm. so cool to me um what is it like being 15 years old I mean obviously you're far more mature than other 15 year old kids probably but like what is it like being so young and being thrown into a world that's of a lot of adults yeah um I think it's really cool because I get to travel to all these places that, I mean, most people probably won't be able to Mm -hmm. go to. And I think it's really special that I get to learn how to take care of myself. And I think that's really cool to be able to, um, like, just mature on your own. You learn the ropes. And, um, yeah, it's really cool being able to travel all these places with your best friends, too, especially. Yeah. 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 So at contests or events, do you, because we were talking about earlier, there is kind of a crew in snowboarding of really young kids and stuff like a Red Gerards and guys like that and other girls who are really young. Do you tend to hang out with them? Are you guys kind of a crew or do you more hang out with the older crowd, like people or like older girls and stuff like that? Um, I think all the younger kids try to band together and yeah. hold it down for us. Um, I know for me, I like riding with all the boys, mm-hmm. um, and, but when, so when the girls compete, we'll all ride together, right. like no matter what age, we'll always try and take the chair up with each other. And, um, yeah, I'd say, but I'd say that the younger kids try to stick together. Yeah. And I feel like it's, it's probably neat for you guys to be able to, cause you can relate to each other mm-hmm. 
and talk about, I mean, not too many 15 year old kids are talking about signing contracts or, yeah. you know, dealing with an agent or a film project or something. Yeah. So it's, I feel like it's kind of neat to relate. Yeah, definitely. It's not like the normal 15 year old talks. Yeah. And on that, do you go to regular school or do you do homeschool? Do you um, do kind of both? Yeah, I do homeschooling. Okay. I stopped doing regular school uh, in eighth grade, mm -hmm. and then I've been doing homeschool ever since. Okay, yeah. all right. And then so when you are, obviously you travel a lot, but when mm -hmm. you are home, do you have friends who live in your neighborhood who, yeah. who are just your age and just mm -hmm. normal 15-year-olders, I would say? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Like friends from elementary and middle school. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. So you still keep in touch with them and everything? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think one thing that I was thinking was, is, do they, because you're all just kind of friends and whatever, mm -hmm. but do they kind of realize, you know, what you're doing and yeah. how it's like, you know, crazy it is? Yeah. Yeah. Um, or is it more just kind of like, oh, yeah, it's our friend. She snowboards kind of, but... <laughs> no, um, I actually, a lot of my friends from when I used to go to school with them, they're, like, they understand what I do, especially with me not being home. Like, they'll right. always text me, like, hey, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, I'm snowboarding, just like I told you yesterday. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, um, but whenever I do contests that air on the TV, they always tune in and watch. And they're like, oh, I'm watching you on TV. It's so cool. And... Yeah, it's cool to have friends that I guess aren't in the snowboard realm that right. are just like there to support. Cool. Um, okay, let's see here. Uh, Kevin Pierce, what? Uh, okay, Kevin Pierce, what would you recommend to new riders who want to learn tricks? Um, start small and work your way up. Yeah. Yeah. That is a very good, very <laughs> smart tip. It's. I think it's really funny because I think for some reason people assume that you just one day just drop in and hit a 50 foot tabletop. Mm -hmm. But it's like, no, you hit a 10 you, foot you and hit a 10. 50 and 20 yeah. for months and months and months and months. Yeah. I think that's what happens in Mammoth Main Park when people get carted away because yeah. they're like, I'm feeling good today. I guess I should just hit that 60 foot. Send. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. So let's see. Max Wells, favorite video part of this year and of all time. Uh, of this year, I would say Views from the 7th that Spencer O'Brien, her mm -hmm. crew did. That was awesome. Um, and I think of all time, I really like watching the Oakley for Me movie. Oh, cool. That movie's so sick. I especially like watching Stale's part because, like, style master. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. Yeah, he's got some serious board control. Jennifer Langill, what's your best advice to young girls just starting out and what inspired you? Um, don't, I guess, don't be scared to put yourself out there. Don't be scared to try. And I think I, when I was younger, I tried to find a group of people that I really like to ride with and they really helped push me. And that's kind of the group you want to be with, people that are nice and not always having a bad time if they're not getting all their stuff together. So just try to find a group of people that you really like to ride with that encourages you and... Um, from there. Speaking of just kind of like nice, cool, grounded people, I feel like you are very chill and grounded and down to earth, which uh, I feel like a lot of kids who are 15 year olds, if they get a new pair of high tops, they're walking around like they're, you know, <laughs> the shit. Like, um, so do you, I mean, obviously it's like, it's kind of easy to uh, be a big name pro snowboarder at 15 years old it would be easy to get a big head and be cocky and on um, what kind of do you think keeps you grounded or um, yeah I always I, I always think about um, where I started and I just want to always think that the people that are coming up I want to always be nice, like say, Kimmy Fasani, she was always nice to me growing up and was always helpful, and that's how I want to be, and she's completely down to earth, and so that, again, like finding people that inspire you to be a good person, so right. I want to be just like her and help the, the up and coming. That is great. That is awesome. <laughs> that's great advice. Uh, let's see, a couple more questions here. Aaron Moore, favorite trick on rails? Um, I'd say back lip. Back lip? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a gnarly favorite trick. I think that's that's a scary trick. Uh, Mia Danielle Lamson, uh, what do you think is most the most important thing that you've taken from uh, riding together so much? <laughs> Wait, we had a typo. Hi, sorry. Mia. Uh, 
writing. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Typos over here. What do you think is the most important thing that you've taken from uh, riding with Red Gerard together so much this past winter? I <laughs> definitely learned uh, from Red to just, it, he has such like a free flowing style and um, obviously like that does really well in contest. It looks good and so I always just try to ride like him and keep it fun and not be too stressed out yeah. about snowboarding. Yeah. Yeah. Always awesome. keep it fun. Cool. Yeah, Red seems like a rad guy. I, mm -hmm. I've only hung out with him a handful of times, but he seems... No, he's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, all, but, well, before we forget, too, if you're just tuning in, you're watching Eddie's Wall. We're live here, Transworld Snowboarding Studios, with Miss Haley Langland. Amazing. Super pro at 15 years old. It's awesome. Um, we're just... Uh, we are live, so feel free to comment your questions. We'll answer them for you. I'm not doing the interview. You guys are doing the interview, so just use me as like a... Uh, moderator, if you will, <laughs> like, I don't know. That works. Yeah, I was trying to think of like something like where I was like possessed and they're like, so I'm speaking their words out. <laughs> anyway, so um, let's talk about the Transworld Riders Poll Awards, See, seeing as how we're talking about Transworld. Um, I mean, you got, you were nominated and won Rookie of the Year. Yep. What, what was that like? What was that night like? I mean, it's kind of like the Oscars of snowboarding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was really cool. Um, Flew down to Denver right after X Games, actually, with Jamie Anderson and um, our friend Frankie. And, uh, yeah, we went down there, and it was really cool to see everyone, like, dressed up, especially all the older snowboarders all dressed up in suits and looking all, like, cleaned up. And so that was really cool. And uh, just to be able to hang out, the energy was so cool. Everyone was just, like, really being together. And, um, yeah, it was kind of crazy because the girls I was up against, like uh, Mads Blackley and um, I'm totally spacing on her name, Maria Thompson, yep. I watched their rail edits all the time. And so to go up against them, I was like, oh, like, I kind of know where this is going. Like, they're awesome. And, um, yeah, we all just had a good time. And it was, it was amazing. What was it like? Did you... Were you kind of caught off guard or surprised when your name got called, or were you just like, all right? Like. Extremely. So that was the thing. I didn't even, I wasn't even planning on going after Whoa. that. And um, yeah, our, my manager at Burton, Frankie, was like, no, you have to come. Like, I'll book you a flight. We'll see. We'll sit in first class. And like, I am such an airhead that when we got there, I was like, wow, we're staying in a super nice hotel. This is so crazy. And then he was like. The girls' uh, rookie of the year was the first thing to be called up, and mm -hmm. so like the entire time he was nudging me, and I was like, no, no. Right. And then they called me up, and I was like, oh, <laughs> 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 yeah, like oh, it all makes sense now. And, right. Yeah, right. it was crazy. That's awesome. That's really cool. Uh, let's see, Heather Lindsay, um, how do you have fun riding with? Oh, who do you have fun riding with the most? Um, again, all my good friends. Yep. So, like, yeah, all the young kids. Cool. Jenny Ferrillo, uh, did your parents push you or, uh, or was it all you? And also, did you start skiing or snowboarding first? Well, I started snowboarding first. And um, when I was younger, I was into a lot of sports. I did soccer, I wakeboarded, I did skateboarding. And I think once I started uh, snowboarding, that's when I was like, I don't want to do anything else but snowboard because yep. that's what I liked. So cool. yeah, it was definitely a me thing. Awesome. Uh, Mickey Sang, um, what do you think you'd be doing right now if you weren't snowboarding? Uh, hanging out in the trans world offices or surfing. Okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Chelsea Waddell. Hi, um, Chelsea. Oh, okay. We got yeah. a friend here. Uh, let's see. When will you be moving to Salt Lake City? Hmm. <laughs> um, well, I told her many times before. <laughs> I don't know if I'm moving to Salt Lake City. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, oh, Mickey Sang, have you ever tried skiing? I did ski. I skied once this season, and I didn't fall once. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It was pretty, it was scary. That's awesome. It was really scary. Uh, did it, did, was it super weird because of how stiff the boots were and everything? It was really weird, yeah. Um, putting the boots on, super uncomfortable, not even buckled in yet, and I yeah. was already like, oh, I don't really want to do it now. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got on the chair, and that was probably the scariest part, was trying to get off the chair. But right. it was, yeah, it was really mellow. Okay. Skiing's pretty easy. Cool. Hear that? Skiing's easy, folks. <laughs> uh, Kevin Pierce, have you ever been to High Cascade Snowboard Camp? Uh, yeah. Cool? Yeah. How do you like it? 
I think it's awesome. Actually, you were just up there for the rat race. Yeah, exactly. First place, no big deal. <laughs> What's it like uh, racing? You know, these rat races, these bank slaloms are super hard to ride and everything and coming in first at two years in a row. Yeah, it's, uh, the courses are crazy. Um, I think it's awesome because people get to really show how good they are at snowboarding. You have to be really good at edge control and being yep. able to control your snowboard. So I think that that's really cool to see all around riders. Okay. Um, let's see, Evan, Francis, let's um, What do you hope to bring to the future of contest snowboarding in terms of positive change? Um, definitely, well, with, you know, the rise of women's snowboarding, there's a lot more bigger tricks going down, like nines and tens and doubles. Um, but then we also have girls that are also bringing up style, like Shiro Mas grabbing tail on back nines. It's yeah. kind of crazy. So I'm hoping one day, like, just mix all of that together and just keep progressing women's snowboarding from there. Awesome. Sean Anis, uh, how many hours have you lost to Pokemon Go? Ooh. Oh, so... Well, I just downloaded it Good last question. week in <laughs> Woodward at Copper. And, and you're like, and I've just come out of this reality. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm back to the real world. Um, it's crazy. Like, I was always putting off on it, but then when I started playing it, I got addicted. Yeah. And that's all I did for the rest of the week. I'd say I've probably spent maybe, don't judge me, 20, 24 hours to snow to pokemon go oh my gosh that's <laughs> crazy okay um heather oh actually on that topic um we were talking earlier in the office and you know you're the generation that is like pokemon go and snapchat and everything and oh yeah we all obviously do that stuff but i feel like for you your generation that is you were born with a phone in your hand essentially so yeah. i mean what is that like do you have do you have all of those do you have snapchat and twitter and this and this and this do you have yeah. Yeah? Yeah, pretty you much. You can shout it out if you want. Uh, yeah, my Twitter <laughs> is young underscore Hales, and my Instagram is Haley Langland. Find me, follow me, you know. Click that like button. Um, uh, all right, uh, Alex Gates, what's your favorite board that you ride? Uh, the Burton Talent Scout. Okay. That's my favorite board. All right. Yeah. Plans for this upcoming season? Um, I don't really know to be honest, okay. just kind of see wherever it takes me. Do you go into a season, obviously you're gonna know that you're gonna go to certain contests and mm -hmm. things. Do you go in, I know some riders actually make a checklist of things that they really wanna try. Like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna learn switchback nines this year. I'm gonna learn this. Do you really do that or do you just kind of go with the flow and just try to kind of progress your riding as you're riding? Yeah, um, I always restart. Like when I go up on the hill, I always try to restart and um, I ride with friends like Red Gerard, obviously, and I always learn tricks off of him, so I never really make an itinerary. I just kind of learn things as I go, just how they come. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Uh, last question, will you ever film a video part? I really would like to film a video part this year. Okay. Yeah, hopefully. Cool. Fingers crossed. Um, okay, well, I mean, uh, first of all, if you guys are, are watching this and you like watching Eddie's Wall live on Facebook, up here in this corner, if you will, um, there is a turn on live notifications button. And what that does is don't worry, you're not going to get 50 notifications a day for every like. But what it will do is notify, give you a notification just when we're going to go live. So if you like the show, click on the, uh, you know, notification live thing. Um, any last words to your, your fans out there or? Uh, no, just keep being you and snowboard. All right. Well, um, thank you so much for coming. Of course. Thank uh, you for We really having appreciate me. it. We're going to have you sign the, the wall back here. And uh, please give a big round of applause for Haley Langland. <laughs> this, this, thank you guys for all coming. This is a beautiful crowd. Beautiful crowd here. Oh, they just, wow. they just keep so it going. Crazy. Yes. Yeah. Um, all right. Here you go. Here's your marker.